Okay, I have the uh, bull blank that I've just cut from the tree out in the woods. Um, now it's back in my shop. I'm going to scribe a circle on this. Uh, my first attempt didn't work out just right, so I'm uh, going to make another um, circle here, this time using a red marker so I can see the difference here. Now I can pull out a fancy compass and do this, but usually I have something sitting around the shop that I can use as a template. Just something that's going to take up uh, about as big a circle as I can on that bow blank is all I'm really after here. And that's it, ready to cut on the bandsaw. Okay, I have my bowl blank with a flat down and uh, my circle in red. I'm just going to follow the line around. Notice where my hands are, folks. I don't ever put my hands where uh, they could get into the path of that blade. Um, it's, if you happen to hit a soft, punky piece of wood and it just popped out quicker than you were ready to, you just want to be sure that uh, your hands are well back from, from that area. Okay. And it's, uh, hand, uh, it's easy, it's safe if you do it right. All right, now that that's cut, it's finished, we have the scrap off the outside, I'm going to make a second cut. And this is really uh, one of the important things I want to show you here today, folks. Uh, if you tilt your bandsaw uh, table uh, to match the angle as close as you can, uh, where the log was shaped that way, it's going to allow us to take off all of that extra mass and weight. Uh, it'll make our turning easier. There'll be less mess when we're finished turning. And uh, I think it's just a great way to go. So I just... Uh, Angle the table, again stay on the line, again I keep my hands well away from the path of that blade and just follow it around until I have finished that cut. And as you'll see here, I've reduced the mass of that bowl by quite a bit. Uh, all that material that I'm taking off here would have ended up something I would have to turn on the lathe. So this just uh, makes my lathe turning go a little bit quicker, a little easier, there's less mess with it. Uh, a lot of times I'll make a secondary cut. Now I could scribe a line here, but it's really not that critical. So all I'm going to do is uh, cut all about an inch up uh, around the bottom of the bowl. And that again just takes off some of the mess and helps balance it out, makes the turning easier and less mess on the lathe. So uh, I'll make that cut and then we'll take it over and mount it. And folks, in the next uh, series of these videos, I will show you how uh, I mount the piece of wood onto the lathe. Actually, there's a lot of ways to do it. Remember, if you like what you're seeing here, hit the like button on YouTube, uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and I'll tell you when a new video is available. Thanks.